Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're going to uh, talk about sports, uh, different sports that we like or dislike, uh, and also different sports that we, uh, we play or do. Um, so we're going to recycle some of the vocabulary from uh, the lesson on music because uh, the structure will be quite similar uh, but of course uh, we're going to um, introduce some new words as well uh, relating to the topic of sports and as usual I'll introduce as well uh, a new activity to practice at home um, with your children. All right so let's begin. begin. Let's look at different kinds of sports. Um, so here is a list of sports in French and you can see that at least in terms of spelling a lot of them are very similar to uh, sports in English. So let's go over the sports together. The first one is le foot. Le foot. Now you can guess le foot is football. Uh, but um, it's uh, football um, as in the um, the, the meaning in British English, so in American English, that would be soccer. Le foot. Le, le foot. Next one is le rugby. Le rugby. That's, of course, rugby. Next is le tennis. Le tennis. Tennis. Le badminton. Le badminton. Badminton. Le netball. Le netball. Netball. Le ski. Ski. Le hockey. Le hockey. Which is of course hockey. Um, le basket. So as you can see, basket is very similar to foot in the sense that we removed uh, the uh, the word ball. So, le foot, le basket. So, football, basketball. Okay, so we just remove uh, the ball part. Okay, le foot, le basket. Right, so for these ones, you can see that all the articles are in blue uh, and they're all le because uh, these sports are all uh, masculine nouns. Uh, now, some sports uh, take a feminine noun or have a feminine noun. Um, so they take uh, feminine articles as well. So instead of le, we're going to say la. Okay, le and la. Um, so for instance, this one here is la natation. La natation. La natation is uh, swimming. Okay, swimming. Um, so uh, natation, it starts kind of like navy. Maybe, which it has to do with water. So, la natation is swimming. The next one, also feminine, is l'équitation. 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 Now, you might notice that I only put the L, there is no A, and that's because, as you might remember, équitation starts with an E, which is a vowel, and A, of course, is a vowel as well. We can't have them together, so we contract them and put an apostrophe in between the two words okay <clears throat> so la natation and then l'équitation all right and then the last two words um, are uh, to win and to lose so to say to win we say gagner gagner now gagner sort of sounds like to gain so you're winning something gagner and to lose is perdre. Perdre. A little bit difficult to say this one. Perdre. To lose. Okay? So, gagner. Perdre. All right. So, now let's have a look at some uh, sentences. Um, so, let's say you'd like to describe a kind of sport that you, uh, that you play or do. Um, so let's say you play football, you're going to start your sentence with I play. Uh, now, let's see if you remember how to say I play. Je joue. Very good. Je joue. I play. Je joue. Je joue. Je joue. And so I play uh, football. Je joue. Oh. 
Je joue au foot. I play football. Je joue au foot. Uh, let's see. If you play rugby, you're going to say Je joue au rugby. Je joue au rugby. Je joue au rugby. I play rugby. Uh, now, uh, with the feminine nouns that we introduced today, uh, they're not really games that you can play. So the structure um, to say that we're doing those sports is going to be a little bit different. So instead of je joue, we're going to say I do, which is je fais. Je fais. Je fais. Okay, we don't pronounce the S, we say je fais. Je fais, I do, je fais, and then um, we're going to say de, je fais de, let's say um, swimming, je fais de la natation. I do swimming, I go swimming, je fais de la natation. Here. Je fais de la natation. Je fais de la natation. I do swimming. Je fais de la natation. And then if you want to say uh, I go horse riding or I do horse riding, of course you're going to say Je fais de l'équitation. Je fais de l'équitation. Oops, sorry. Okay. <laughs> There we are. Je fais de l'équitation. All right. I go horse riding. Um, now, let's see if we can describe what kinds of sports we like or dislike. Um, so you might remember to say that you like something. You will say, j'aime. J'aime. Very good. J'aime. So let's say you like hockey. You could say, j'aime le hockey. Very simple. J'aime le hockey. Okay, j'aime le hockey. I like hockey. Uh, if you like um, basketball, you're going to say j'aime. Oops, it flew away. <laughs> j'aime le basket. J'aime le basket. I like basketball. Uh, now, what if you don't like? If you don't like, so remember for the negative form, we need to use two words which are ne and then pas, ne pas. So ne goes before the verb and pas goes after uh, the verb. Now, it's a little bit trickier with uh, aimer, which is to like, uh, because um, aimer starts with an A. Okay. Uh, so we can't say je ne aime pas, we can't, because ne ends with an e and um, m starts with an a, which are both vowels. So we need to add the little apostrophe, as we mentioned before. Um, so let's see how this works out. So we start with je, and then instead of ne, we're going to have an n and an apostrophe. Je n'aime pas. Je n'aime. And then pas. Okay. Let's see here. Je. Oops. There we are. Je n'aime pas. Je n'aime pas. Je n'aime pas. Je n'aime pas. I don't like. Je n'aime pas. Let's say you don't like a uh, netball. Je n'aime pas. Le netball. Je n'aime pas le netball. Je n'aime pas le netball. Now, if you don't like hockey, you'll say je n'aime pas le hockey. Je n'aime pas le hockey. All right. Uh, now, what if um, you prefer um, a, a certain kind of uh, sport. So you could say, 
Je préfère, just like we saw in the lesson on music, je préfère, now if you prefer uh, horse riding, let's say, uh, you're going to say, je préfère l'équitation. Je préfère l'équitation. I prefer horse riding. Je uh, préfère l'équitation. Um, what if you really hate a certain sport, you really, really can't stand it? You would say, je déteste, je déteste. Now, let's see, if you really, really hate playing tennis, for instance, you'll say, je déteste le tennis. Je déteste, sorry, je déteste le tennis. I hate tennis. This is, uh, so these are the different structures. Uh, so this is how you would explain uh, what kind of sports you, you do or play and whether you like them or not. Um, and to put all of this uh, to, to, together really uh, in a game, you could either play uh, the golf game that we introduced last time, but of course you change the target language, um, or you could play a completely different game uh, which uh, could be, for instance, uh, battleships. So you could have all the different um, um, the different sentences really, uh, except we're we will be starting them with uh, tu, which is you. So you're talking about your opponent. So instead of j'aime, it will be uh, tu aimes or tu joues, you play, etc. And then uh, over here we have all the different kinds of sports. Uh, so just like in battleships, uh, you individually tick different boxes. Um, so for example, if you like uh, basketball, uh, it will be in tu m uh, and then basket. So you'd make a cross here and the other person will have to guess that you like basketball. So they will say, mm, tu aimes le basket? And you'll say, yes. Oui, <laughs> j'aime le basket. And so they will get the point. There. All right, so I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, feel free to share it with anyone you think uh, might benefit uh, from it as well. Uh, if you have any questions about any topics, of course, as usual, I'll be happy to help. Let's leave no child behind. Let's help them. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much.